All right, so this is from Abby. Jeff Bezos eats iguana, vows to make space travel cheaper with Amazon lottery winnings. Is this a, I think this is a, uh, is this a satire article? Is this for real? I think this is a satire article. I feel like it's got to be. Um... It was a black tie evening of glamour, champagne toast, and lizard flesh. Okay, yeah, it is. Um, at the annual Explorers Club dinner gala this weekend, an Amazon founder uh, was one of the guests of honor. The Explorers Club has been promoting scientific inquiry and adventure for over 100 years, and it meets regularly and hands out awards to astronaut, physicists, anthropologists, and other pioneers. But Bezos received the Buzz Aldrin Space Exploration Award for his work as the founder of Blue Origin, an aerospace company that hopes to lower the cost of space travel. Um, the price the price of admission to space is very high. I'm in the process of converting my Amazon lottery winnings into a much lower price of admission so we can go explore the solar system. Um, Fixing problems on our home planet has inspired one of dinner's most notable features. Each year, Master Chef cooks up a menu comprised of invasive species to highlight ways in which our diets can be more sustainable. This go-around featured tarantula, cockroach, and roasted iguana. And reader, Bezos was having the iguana. Uh, this might not... Actually, I, I take this back. I think this might be a real article. I think Je Jeff Bezos got a space award. And I think he was making a joke calling his Amazon... I guess winning the lottery means being a totally exploitive predatory capitalist. That's what he means by winning. Man, what a talk about tying up a tying up and put it on a bow in it. I, I exploit my workers. I exploit cities. I exploit countries. Uh, I won the lottery, you guys. I really won the lottery, and I'm gonna try to make space exploration easier. I mean, eventually we're just gonna deplete all the resources here on Earth, right? We are a walking virus with shoes. And I'm a predatory capitalist, so I don't think it's a bad thing that we're completely exploiting this earth and people. Uh, so we got to get into space, guys. To, why, why, why do we want to get into space? To, to pursue peace all around this, this total universe? To find out if we're alone on this planet or, or on this uh, in this big universe? No, 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 because there might be more shit out there we can exploit. There might be more resources to exploit. That's why someone like Jeff Bezos wants to go to space. There, there's more stuff out there for him to exploit, potentially. That's what they think in terms of. They don't think in terms of exploration or, 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 or meeting other species or, or finding other signs of life or somehow maybe getting a step closer to utopia. They think in terms of there might be stuff we can exploit it and make more money. But, uh, but Jeff Bezos ate, ate an iguana. To, uh, to have uh, more sustainability here on Earth. He did his part. He, he's eating an iguana. His company exploits labor. It exploits resources. Uh, people that work for him don't make a living wage. Cities don't really benefit from them being there. I was, ask anybody in Seattle how good Jeff Bezos is for a local economy. Go ask somebody in Seattle. Ask somebody in Seattle. I have friends that, that live... I used to live in Seattle. I have friends that are moving here to Los Angeles because they think rent's the same. Why should I stay up there? Rent's the freaking same. It's Silicon Valley up there now, thanks to Jeff Bezos. Uh, the neighborhood I used to live in, all the businesses there have been completely gutted. Bezos eats iguanas and resources. I seriously thought that was a satirical article. <laughs> I like like it seemed like it could have been a fake headline, you know, like 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 Bezos promises world domination after biting the head off a snake. You know what I mean? Like that's that's gonna be the satirical article I write. Bezos promised world domination after biting the head off a snake. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just get your news on with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 
So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash romplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.